Oh, hello, papagena. Tu le pera con la papaya. So we're gonna kind of just wing it and see what happens. So welcome to the Edge Hog Channel. I'm sitting here with the world famous Russ Bruins. Uh, I met you when, Russ? Uh, three years ago at NEMA. Three years ago at DEMA, and Russ is into two different things, and it all has to do with, with scuba diving. And so why don't you tell us a little bit about what you and the wife do up there in South Carolina. Uh, Charleston, South Carolina, we do, uh, I clean boats for a living mainly, and we do a lot of shark's tooth diving. Uh, my wife is an instructor, so, uh, and we use all hog edge stuff now exclusively. We both switched over from Total Scuba Pro. Uh, we switched over to the Hog Zenith regs. We love those as soon as we switched over to them. Um, I took the class last year uh, to be to maintain our, our equipment. Um, I switched over for the to the Total Buoyancy Control device. And my wife uses the hybrid uh, BCs, and we just love them. And all of our students, we use the the Edge. Uh, BCs for our students now and now we just sell them to them because they find that they're liking them better than anything else they've ever used so and being on the water being where we're at be, doing the black water diving for shark's teeth you have to have ultimate you know reliability, reliability performance to, to know that it's going to last when you can't see anything so that's it's worked perfect every single time so and and what i'm going to do folks is i'm going to put a picture of the wife and she's all geared up getting ready to go in i'm going to link it on and put it right up here in a, in a couple of seconds and i think you're going to be amazed and you guys work uh your wife does training and and yep. that sort of thing what agency does she work uh, with she patty she's a patty uh, instructor how did she get into instructing uh originally she uh learned how to scuba dive in montana uh where i'm from wyoming montana area and a lot of diving in montana not, right not so much uh <laughs> it turned out she loved it so much she became a diver on a liveaboard out of belize and then she was a scuba instructor at uh Dominican Republic uh, until the hurricane came through and took the resort out. Uh, then she moved to Florida and uh, she became an instructor there and then I kind of swept her away to South Carolina. Oh. So tell us a little bit more about your uh, fossils. Should we call it just fossils or well, call it shark teeth or well, what, what do you call it? It's uh, mainly fossils. Uh, we find a lot of whale vertebra, whale bones, shark's teeth, uh, whale or shark vertebra also. You, you also can find, if you look in the right areas, maybe uh, musket balls, um, uh, clay pottery, that sort of thing. We found some clay plates, big shark's teeth, little shark's teeth. There's uh, some big teeth that come from a herbivore back when. They're about as big as my fist. Oh, uh, mastodon. Mastodon. Do you ever have you ever seen any I of those? Have not found any of those yet. Yeah. We're still looking. So, do you guys do like if somebody contacted you and wanted to dive with you for this? Is that doable? That is doable. We have That'd no, be cool, right? No problem taking somebody out. Uh, you need to have your own gear. We're not a charter service by any stretch of the imagination, but we do like to open it up for people to, to come with us and, and enjoy it. Uh, it's not for the faint of heart. You, you need to have some experience since it is so black water diving. So this is not a beginner diver uh, trip or adventure. This You need to be really comfortable in black water, uh, not being able to see pretty good uh, pretty good current, Very, a that of sort current. of thing. We have so. to dive around the current. Typically we do two dives. Uh, we'll get in an hour before the tide change, come back up to the boat, do one more dive, uh, and then come back up to the boat before the current starts washing you away. So, But it's, it's a good time. We, we enjoy it. It's a passion. 
So we're here at DEMA, by the way, 2019 in Orlando, and uh, you're down seeing all the wild and crazy things and the new stuff and, and that sort of thing. And of course, you're here in, in the hog booth. And uh, did you see anything else here that uh, kind of drew your attention? Uh, the hydroid mask is pretty intense looking. That's about the only thing that's kind of really caught my eye, but that, that looks kind of like a predator looking helmet. So, so what, he's, what he's talking about, and again, I'll put a picture up here and maybe I can put a link down below, but there's an, uh, a rebreather helmet and it actually, it, it looks like the predator. And uh, all of us the past couple of days have been calling it the Predator Rebreather Helmet. And so uh, I think you get a real kick out of it. The guy was saying it, um, it's good down to like 40 meters, 40, 40 meters for an hour, hour and a half. And it's all self-contained with cartridges you put into it, yeah. made out of carbon fiber. In pretty, pretty in wild and crazy looking. Yeah. Right. So uh, again, I'll put a link down there. I'm also going to put a link down below for, for Russ's email. And if you're in the South Carolina area and you want to train with his lovely wife and uh, Russ will be along. I mean, you, you know, it's kind of one of those I'm just things. A worker. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, the hired hand, the hired gun. There you go. But uh, if you're in South Carolina, you want to work with a great instructor, and of course, uh, if you would like hog equipment, you can contact Russ through that email address. They sell all of our scuba equipment through Edge Hog. And uh, Russ, I really appreciate you getting in the middle of this and being brave enough to sit down and get in front of the camera and all these folks out here. Thank you so much, Bob. And one thing I will say about my wife, I was a nuclear engineer in the Navy. So we did training five hours a week and when I took my scuba certification from her she was by far the best instructor I'd ever had and, I, and she wasn't my wife at the time I snatched her up soon after that but I just wanted to say just every the way she did everything made sense and she taught you why you did a certain skill at a certain time so I, it, it's fantastic how good she was I don't think she knows how good she is of what she does so and and most of you folks out there know already but if you're not a diver it's not necessarily about the the agency it's more True. about the instructor yes. that will make you a quality and a safe diver would Correct. you would you agree I, with I that I agree 100% yeah. Okay, uh, if you're, again, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button down there. Give us a yell, love to see some comments. If you know of some of uh, Russ's stuff, put a comment down below. But again, I'm Bob Collins and the world famous Russ Bruins for Edge Hog Dive Gear. While you're out there, dive safe and there goes Santa Claus. Thanks a lot.